Welcome to the second edition of Grady's Another Angle, the show that brings you stories that unite us all. I'm Ashlyn Webb. And I'm Alexis Watson. Recent UGA grad Jatendra Pont spoke at TEDx UGA this past weekend. And Alexandra Rio shows us all how Jatendra Pont is proving that the future isn't now, it's no. Well, nitrous oxide it is. TEDx UGA, I present to you Dr. Jatendra Pont. Recent University of Georgia graduate Jitendra Pant did his PhD from the College of Engineering. And I particularly worked with nitric oxide based materials. Your body, your blood vessels, your immune system, and your brain releases nitric oxide to control a variety of functions. And that's what we do. We make biomedical devices that can release nitric oxide to compensate for the nitric oxide loss in your body to cure a variety of diseases. Isn't it ridiculous that the biomedical devices and treatment options that we have today, which are supposed to save millions of lives, are the reason for some life-threatening problems? Uh, first one is uh, infection, and second one is uh, blood clots. People often ask me, Pant, we are very scared. Is there any hope? Is there any hope for the future? And you know how do I reply? I just smirk and say no. <laughs> with all jokes aside, Chitendra believes. With uttermost confidence, I can say that nitric oxide is going to be the next generation therapeutics because it is very effective on the most prevalent bacteria found in hospital settings and it can kill them up to 99.9%. .9%. I want them to say yes to no, and by no, I mean nitric oxide. Alexandra Rios, Grady News Source. Dr. Pont is one of many speakers chosen to present at this year's TEDx UGA. For more information on the event, as well as all past and present speakers, please visit TEDxUGA.com. Hey, I'm Georgia Chambers, and coming up, I'll tell you about a man in Athens who's dancing his way into the heart of all those that see him by doing no more than his job. Right now, though, here are some things happening in Athens this weekend that the whole family can enjoy. This Saturday, Fluke Comic Fest is on at the 40 Watt Club. Fluke is a mini comic festival organized by Athens area comic artists, underground publishers, and their fans. Exhibitors inside and out of 40 Watt will show off their comics all day. Parents, if your kids need a break from you, drop them off at the athens Clark County Library's Lego Club meeting this Saturday at 11 a.m. Kids ages 6 from 11 are welcome, and of course, the Legos will be provided. If you want to experience some Athens nightlife but don't want to deal with the college bar scene, then the University of Georgia, Georgia's Caribbean Night could be for you. The University of Georgia's Caribbean Student Association is hosting the event at Morton Theater on Friday and Saturday nights at 7. Caribbean Night includes an award-winning play, Caribbean dance, numbers, and authentic cuisine. Tickets are $8 and available at mortontheater.com. Caribbean Night isn't the only dancing happening in downtown Athens. One local man brings dance into his daily work routine. You might not think that his job is the most exciting one in the world, but you sure can't tell from how he does it. It is a common sight to see Phil Mosley doing the splits and dancing while working. Go clean and guess what? 24 karat magic. Mosley works in the streets of downtown Athens from 1.30 in the afternoon to 10 at night, Monday through Friday. He began incorporating dance into his work routine when he started working downtown routes. Oh, I just like doing what I do. It's like, you know, working out. That's my passion. Mosley says that 30 years in martial arts practice keeps him limber. So I'd be ready to do what I like doing, martial arts and dance. He wants to do his job well, but more importantly, he wants to set his image apart from his job title. What started it was by people looking at my appearance. They look at me as a trash man, and they look at my hair, and they stereotype me. Like, they think because I do this type of work that I should not look this way. Mosley is a trash collector, but he's much more. He takes pride in his job and his look. This icy watch, the neat hairstyle, and of course, these moves. You should look at me as a person, not by how, not my, by my appearance. Some of you have seen Mosley in action. He's even shown up in quite a few Snapchat stories. 
Mosley's interaction with people shows that people see him as more than someone who helps keep Athens clean. Whether you see him as the garbage collector, the street dancer, or the martial arts man, Mosley says what matters is that you give whatever you do 100%. As a college student, you may have heard the stereotypes about students who don't finish their degrees in time and stick around for too long. Or maybe even that although college is important, real life experience is far more valuable than anything learned in the classroom. Tonight, I will introduce you to a man who is deciding to challenge all of these ideas. Olin G, a 71-year-old with a passion for politics and learning, put his passion into action by going back to college to get a journalism degree. So what made him return to the classroom? And Donald Trump started criticizing the press. I thought, I'll just go to journalism school. This isn't the first time Olin is working towards a college degree. He recently earned a political science degree last May. Now he wants to combine his political interest and journalism skills by starting a political blog to share his views. The conservatives are not all wrong, they're not all right. The liberals are not all right, they're not all wrong. Olin's time in the classroom increases his faith in future change. He can already see it every day when he walks on campus. Girls went to class dressed up every day because their main concern was finding a husband. That is definitely not the case now. Olin has been politically active for multiple decades with his wife, Diane, who has been by his side for the past 48 years and supports him in his education. That I just love to see him do good. I love to see him enjoy what he's doing, and he loves going. He loves the people there. Olin's love of learning is simple yet powerful. He just wants to understand because I like to know a little bit about everything as opposed to a lot about one thing. Here's his secret to becoming a lifelong learner. Never stop asking questions. Uh, never stop seeking advice from people in your field. Uh, always treat life as if you're still in school trying to learn. In the information overload era we live in, determining fact from fiction can feel like a fearful task Olin's story inspires. It inspires all of us to recognize the potential our future has instead of continuing to see it as something to fear. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kelsey Coffey, and remember, keep looking for another angle. Grady News Source is a student production of the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication at the University of Georgia, which is solely responsible for its contents. Views expressed do not represent those of the administration nor the Board of Regents at the University System of Georgia.